All right. Hey, we're stream streaming in the stream yard for the first time ever. I like it. Do you? Yeah. New, new digs. Uh, of course you, guys, like you guys have given yourself some interesting nicknames. Yep. Um, uh, I don't. I didn't even know those are even R rated. These are NC seventeen. Is there yeah, something that R now? I don't even want to talk about it because honestly, I don't want it in my brain. I don't want it in my memory banks. I don't like the the, the idea of it. I, I don't like what it implicates. I don't like the scenario that it, that exists around it. Oh, it's in your your memory bank. That's all right. <laughs> It's I didn't realize it was going to put the name right across the bottom of the of the video screen. <laughs> yeah, you're wearing it right on your sleeve, or wearing his him as a sleeve. I'm not sure, but it's it's very graphic. It's yeah. true. It's true graphic. Is it? I like it, how you. I like, I, I, like how, I like how somehow you're moral high grounding right now. What do you mean? Well, you know, you're you're also rocking a pretty. Would you rather? Okay, let me ask you this. Would you at, rather be the recipient? What? At least I gave myself a title. You know, it <laughs> says it says that I'm the guy that does this action, and you just made a, like, you just threw one over the fence. Mine like, oh, says, yeah, well, you suck. Yeah, mine, mine says Bales, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Mine says Bales. <laughs> <laughs> My display name says the guy who makes love to Eloy and the bum. That's dude. That's not even. I don't even want this kind of audio out there. It's not even. Okay, look. Just for and the your audience. Dis- and your display name says Bales eats hard roosters for fun. Yeah, but I mean that's more of an attack. At least I'm like loving on you. If this was like a battlefield, your guys' flags were just mocking each other. <laughs> I yeah. I just don't even. I don't. I, why did you even add battlefield to it? That it makes it even worse. That makes it into like this sort of sweaty. Because like, love is a battlefield. It's like two Native American tribes sending smoke signals across a canyon, and it'd be like, "What is that? Uh, that that that's the finger." Well, I've got a. I, I've you got just, a you just gave us the finger. Oh, oh, here comes a yo mama joke. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh no, he didn't. This is indicative of of how far low we can sink, and I was trying to 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 address the higher the better of us in our in in, a, in us um and obviously bales wants to be in in everything um in in just in and you out. baby just you Freaking, I, for the audience just so that you understand um youtube is screwed screwed us and there's no more of the live thing where we record and this and that so we have a new software that we can interact with each other. It has four panes of windows where we each are there. And you, you make it sound write. like YouTube kicked us out or something. Well, they kicked the whole sort of like ecosystem out. Oh, not us personally? Yeah. I mean, it affects us, but, you know. And so now there's this feature that you can write little things. And and Bales, I came, <coughs> I came up on here, and Bales had written this whole horrible thing about me. And then I, I dropped because I, I just wrote Eloy on mine like a decent human being. And I saw that he did. So I decided to attack back. And then I did my writing on my little window pane. But now we're recording. I'm seeing this written across Bales' thing. And I'm going to be traumatized. And I don't want to read that constantly. I didn't realize it would put the name underneath us like a big banner. I thought it would just be up in the side, like the side chat. Oh, you know, like Frank Zappa has joined. You know, mm-hmm. Rory has joined. That's why we should always test drive software before we go and <laughs> and, and record. Whatever. We're lucky enough that we could get here to record together. Yeah, I'm just gonna read mine and not focus on Bales. It's a good plan. Because, uh, no, actually, focus, on, focus on Rory, who's the only one that <laughs> used his real name. Um. So did you, Doc? If it is his real name. Uh. Yeah, it doesn't say Doc on my driver's license. <laughs> Um, if, we meet, if, if, if we meet in public a thousand times, I will not ever introduce myself to you as Doc. A valid source told me that Rory's true name is Trevor. Oh. Oh, that's my cousin's name. We do not get along. I just saw wow. the problem. Oh, I okay. took a piece of tape. Oh. I, I am like it. Having, I am not having 
myself violated by Bales the whole episode. Man, you, you really... Oh, great. When you put it up on the screen, it's right. like a backlit... You know, like the... Ooh. <laughs> like a neon sign? What if, you got, what if you got some masking tape? Do you have any like blue painter's tape? It, it makes it... It makes it no. I I don't have. You need, to, you need something. You need something opaque. It Use that light out. Yeah. Stick a condom over it. <laughs> <laughs> now, now that you have the tape there, Elo, you can write on the. You can write on the tape with a marker. Yeah. Like something different. Yeah. Yeah. In bales. I can't believe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I cursed. We've been in the stream yard for six minutes and already we're cussing. Well, because he's subliminally. He's a subliminable blow, blow subliminable man. Blow, blow. I like the running clock. I can actually write down what time now. Well, we spent six mm-hmm. minutes. Wait, let me put my glasses back on. See, we spent six minutes um, talking about why Bales sucks. We can move on now. Okay. Thank you for your permission. Yeah. You're welcome. So is anyone else excited about the tool release? Very. Because I have yet to even bother listening to it. That's You didn't listen to the ten minute track he released? I did not. Yeah. There's a couple there's been stuff floating around online for a while and now uh what Fear Inoculum the title track came out. It was it's good. good. It's tool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I you know. I like it. Um yep. I like this Joe Rogan appearance. Yeah. Um, eh, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say you're wrong, sir. We, we had a little mini powwow about this, and I was I was really looking forward to it because Maynard seems like a very insightful man. Like, there is no bottom yeah. to, to his wisdom. So I was kind of expecting Rogan's interview to, to be going in weird places, and it really didn't. Talked about growing some wine and his other business ventures. And it was, it was like the neighbor next door. That was, that, you know, every once in a while, those episodes are just straight plugs for the guy, you know, and he was in town and he wanted to plug the album coming out. And that's what it seemed like to me. He released the stuff online. Yep. They got to see it. That was cool. Um, so it, it really good. didn't, it really didn't feel like a full major interview. But like, like the Elon Musk one. Holy crap. Yeah, because that, that's a weird guy. Y- yeah, yeah, he's all the way weird. Mm. I liked it. I what? disagree with everything you guys all said just now. No one, no one really cares what you think. Please refer to please refer to Bales' screen name. <laughs> the guy. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do whenever I was like, uh, the point is that. No, Great. you disagree with all of it. No, I just had to say something. Oh, did any of you happen to catch the Bernie Sanders interview? Oh, goodness gracious. Why, Doc? Nope. Oh, it was good. First of all, we have to support the fact that these candidates are going to do long form interviews like that and not give us just soundbite culture. So good, bad or indifferent, whether you like the guy or not, you should definitely hear them out. And It's like I said, it's refreshing to hear people speak long form anyway. He hit his usual not, point. He hit his usual points, but the the point of what I was gonna say is like the, on his way out, he's like, "Well, thank you. You know that was an hour. You know, I'd like to thank you for coming in here, but I got one more question for you." He's like, "If you become the president, if you find out aliens are real, he's like, you're gonna tell us, right?" It was just funny, like snuck it in there. It was like some alien talk right at the end. <laughs> Thought that was Bernie funny. Sanders. Bernie Sanders is a douchebag. He won't become president. He's a douchebag. He's a douchebag. That's, that's that's a bit harsh. Yeah, that's rough. That's oh, rough for somebody that you've never met personally. No, no, I've never met personally. You've never personally met someone to to, to accuse them of being a bag of douches. No, I've never met him personally to accuse him of being a bag of douches. I mean, you could definitely disagree with his policy, but anybody that says that Cuban lines for food is a good thing because it shows that government is working is an idiot because he's told, look, 
you mentioned Bernie Sanders. I'll tell you one thing. The idea that he was pro-Castro and pro-social, he'll say, no, I'm not pro, but he was sure happy with those freaking long soup lines. People had to wait in line to get food, and he kind of liked that idea, and he said as much. That's why I think he's a douchebag. Was it good soup? I don't know. Hmm. But the idea that that you have to that you have to wait in line for food and that that kind of a system is a good system, is, especially for people that are aware of that on a close, maybe secondhand, you know, knowledge. I don't know. It's it's not. He's an idiot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's an idiot. Good. Good. Cool. Well, I, again, I was trying to make a non-political point using a politician as a character in my story, and you want uh, we went way out there. So we know your stance on it. We appreciate your honesty, and and thanks for playing. I I, I guess you're not a Bernie bro. Mm-mm. No, it's not for you, huh? Mm-mm. I could see that. Oh, I I could go on i mean you mentioned i i'm i'm sure you could this is like what i was bringing up the the bumper sticker and we talked for 25 minutes about whose bumper sticker it was when it was not important well it's like me saying you know you guys should really you know it was interesting i was watching this trump interview the other day you know putting all politics aside you sit there and listen you gotta really listen and a b c and the other it's always begging you know, um, right. for other people to say one thing or the other. So since you mentioned Bernie as an example, that was one thing of Bernie's that was shocking to me is that he was quite comfortable with people waiting, you know, in lines. Because what happens is that people have to wait in line to receive food from the government because that's where food comes from, I, you know, because they regulate. And he was happy with that I- ideal. And, and when I saw that i was like mind you it's an old video him talking about it but when i saw that it's like holy crap are you kidding me so yeah i don't like uh that dude at all you want to bring that boat around and take a third shot or is the second one did you did you get at that time i you know Eloy, i saw you enter your name the other night to see if you and i were related but i say that's bullshit you have to be related to my mom's side of the family because just the way you even argue it's like one pass Bring it around. Have a cup. Bring another pass. Here we go. We're gonna bring it one more time. I, 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 re, I, re, I resent that. I resent no, it because no, that's, that's 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 like that's what I think. That's what's endearing. That's like family. It's like, well, okay. but, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about all that. That there's no, and mind you, you have every right. There's no reason on a podcast, a talk podcast. Mind you, this is not a political pod, podcast. But you should there's do. no. We should there's wear no reason. There's no reason that conversations can't be had. And when you ever have uh, a scenario where a conversation is going from one person to the other, or a mix of people, and and you're and you're getting disqualified because your opinion might be a little uncomfortable, which it is. It's an uncomfortable. It's not. You know, maybe you guys are, are Bernie supporters. I'm not. You know, but maybe you are. And that's none of my. You know, as far as like, I don't care that one would be. I'm just calling out from my vantage point i'm not saying you have to prescribe to you you know my my whole thing like i'm totally open to you you could be whatever you 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 want to or believe what you want to but i do have my i have strong opinions but i don't dare like force a human you know it on human beings other people so you know and and it's a podcast so we talk and you did bring it up so i'm i'm Oh, I'm just busted. I'm just busted your balls. That the, we should have serious scratch to wear suit and ties and talk politics. Well, we might alienate. See, there's another issue. We might alienate because we don't know people's politics and this is that. And by the way, it's it's almost <laughs> useless to do that on a public, you know, especially when you're. But we don't. And if somebody with the wrong sort of temperament, um, comedy temperament or whatnot, it could be a total turnoff for them. But here's the good news. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. <laughs> it's not like we, it's not like we can upset too many people. Oh, yeah. um, so you can, you can hear you can hear the people turning us off. It yeah. was like it was like three clicks. Yeah. Oh, and just for the record, just to be international, I love all different political people of all different you know 
um, stripes and whatever you want to call them. I just have my personal, you, know, you have to pick something. So I picked Not Bernie. And that was number three or four. Bam! That was four. Okay. Number four. Bring, bring it around for another barrel. Boom. He can't go down with three barrels. Not three barrels. So do you guys like Bernie? He's too old. I like that he said that he was going to tell us if there were aliens. I do like that. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll come. I'll come. I'll come clean, and I will say that I, I do like that. Yeah. I want to know, Bale. Uh, do, do you do you want to know if there's aliens? No. <laughs> Rory. Totally. Awesome. So we've got three people's Bernie supporters. People's, head, people's heads will explode. They're like, we got a face hugger here. We need a volunteer. I'll be like, I want to be the first one. Me. Let me do it. <laughs> I, uh, I've been training my gag reflex for years <laughs> for this. Got a big old plastic latex one coming out of me. See, look, oh, oh. <sighs> I'm ready. See, the thing about Bernie is, oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> I tried hard, guys. I tried hard. Nah, he's the a problem dude. is dog with a bone. Well, hell. So, have you guys seen any? Okay, here we go. Look, because you know it's it's it's. 2019, so let's we can't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. So here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Is there anything interesting that you have experienced in the past week, minus the whole dark house conversation, or any unnatural acts by bales in dark corners of Boston, or some crazy shit occurring up in the mountains at night or dusk? So except for these things? Except for those things, what's been going on? Uh, I got nothing then. I gave uh, my dad my one year, maybe two year notice. What? what? Yeah. Holy shit, Jinx. Bales and I said what at the same time. He owe me a coke. <laughs> shit. First of okay. all, I can't. I can't believe you gave your notice. And second of all, why so goddamn long? Because <laughs> I got to move. Two weeks is a standard, you know. Yeah. Well, I got to move, a- and no metal worker here is going to hire me. Was he Was he happy about it? Oh, no. He definitely was not part of his 10-year plan. Holy shit, man. Yeah. Um, um, wh- oh. where, where would you move? I have no idea. Oh. I'm thinking Dude. about just, like, blindfolding my eyes and committing hard at the map. Yeah, okay, committing. but can I ask you? I'm sorry, Doc. Go ahead. I, I had said, yeah. I just just my whole thing was your best bet might just be doing that and committing and be like, yeah, there we go, starting over in Oklahoma. No, I mean, I, c- climate might be a deciding factor. Maybe, maybe you want you like you like rainy area. Or you well, you don't really care about mountains because you could climb mountains where you are now. But maybe maybe you want like. You want to live on the coast because you want beaches. He wants greenery, and when I say greenery, it's cash. No, that's the oh. greenery you got to live within within driving distance of people with monies. Surviving, yeah. Can, so can I, Newport, Rhode Island. Can, can I just say that that I've been noticing uh, above the lower third, icky poo line, bales. I've been looking at my since this format. Your hairline is so perfect, like. I have this Whittle's Peak freaking hair, a little bit of hair receding. And you have like this. Well, you do have a Whittle's Peak, but it's like a line. It's like, do you, pr- pr- what would be the fluffy, poofy name to call it? Do you do, do something not, to it? I do not trim my hairline now. Dude, you have like the most, you know, I mean, anyways, with that said, um, Rory, that's a big freaking deal what you just told us. Oh yeah, it's huge. But I I do want to say one thing like honestly uh, without trying to sway you cuz obviously you're a grown man and you've made it but the first thing that I thought and I don't want to do, do you want me to tell you? You're just going to tease me with it or you can give me the whole thing. <laughs> Ask Bales cuz apparently <laughs> he's the guy that that does such acts. Even um, if you took the whole thing from him, it'd be a tease. Ah, that is that is all of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Kick, just slide it in. Uh, I did, uh, dude. Uh, what, what do you what do you mean? 
I, I, Dude, I'm got, I'm, I gave her all she got. I, 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 we we bottomed out here, um, <laughs> so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Apparently, um, that's when you make a quick call to uh, Amazon. Um, in any event, <laughs> get affiliate <laughs> link <laughs> with a with, with an affiliate link. We know we know the, we we know the the uh, Facebook page is not to post those in because it'll piss them off. But um, the one the first thing that that crossed my mind when you said that instinctively i said damn you know he's doing a quite the adventure you know he's he, and he's gonna go off and do that and this was like in a matter of seconds i thought but i did think and honestly rory i did think about and i don't know your old man but i put myself in your shoes his shoes in relation to like let's say how me and my old man i don't have my old man around no more and stuff and that's why i didn't want to go heavy on you but i did think that that's why i asked you the question did your old man he, and no that wasn't with the plan and stuff and so that kind those kind of thoughts uh crossed my mind you know that that whole dynamic and all that and so my question is the you want to move because it's essential and just could, just could you tell us a little bit whatever you want to share um <clears throat> i drive you know half hour up the mountain to go to work and, you know, commute back down, whatever the weather is, whatever the traffic's like. And, um, I need to be driving a lot less with some, uh, health stuff that I have. Okay. And part of that is having a shop on the property and that kind of property in Colorado is, is so expensive. I can't afford it. What I am living off of on Dragon Forge is not enough. I have right. serious debt that needs to go away. So it comes down to just like Doc is talking about, you know, surviving. If I have to leave the family business in attempt to make more money, then I need to do that. I need to I need to take care of this stuff. It's it's weighing on me longer than it, it needs to. Right. But and there are some curveballs. My dad is getting neck surgery probably this fall. <clears throat> Might go into early next year. That's a three month rehab. So yeah. he'll be out of the shop. So I will be having to run that shop. We're trying to hire somebody. So we're going through that whole process. Hmm. And then also the, you know, kind of watching Doc go through the process of looking, searching, finding a home and getting a heartbeat of how really how quick that is. Cause I've never done this before. Well, it went quick for me. It went quick for Doc. Yeah. That, that's, you know, it, that happens to be the market right now though. No, I, I totally understand that, but I need to be that flexible with time and having just having to talk with everybody. Um, yeah, sucked. What a what an uncomfortable conversation. Yeah, but you got to announce your intentions. Totally. Yeah. You know, you, as a man, you got to stand there and say, "Hey, this is what I want to do." So I just don't want you to be blindsided. So. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, whatever you, you know. We're, we are of our parents and, you know, that's a long strip, but we are also our independent selves and we have our own, you know, journey to travel. in. so speaking, it's, just, it's a difficult thing, but, but we, we all have to, yeah. we have to do it. Speaking as a father, you know, I would be upset if I was in that situation, but at the same time, I'd be like, you know what? Good for you, kid. That's, you know, you're so understanding. It makes me sick. Oh, it, you tell him no. Yeah, you tell him. No, you know, you have to stay here, and I have to pay you. No, you don't tell him no, dude. What you do, the obvious. See, I don't think you have much of the psychology going on. What you don't just tell him outright no. You use the the tools at, at you know that you have, which okay, break that. Guilt, this is parenting with Eloy, which is which is guilt. Well, you know, oh. a lot of people, a lot of people say. It's, it's such we a are related. Thing. If you're going to use guilt to parent your children, you are related to my mother. I know it. Well, I'm not saying that I would use guilt. I'm saying that these are tools available. And people do use guilt. So guilt is a part of the tools to keep, you know, a status quo continuing, as it were. I got you. You know? But um, we got to do what we got to do because, you, you know what? We don't know what the heck's going to go down tomorrow. Taco Bell might not have the Nacho Bell Grande. 
or they, they might be out of guacamole. They better oh. have it. Better Ooh, have Taco it. Bell guacamole sounds like a good way to get sick. Mm-mm. Well, and, is it good? Oh my goodness, it's very generic. But guess is, what? Does it come in like a? Does it come in like a peel cup? Yeah. Does it? <laughs> comes in a ketchup packet. <laughs> <laughs> just squirt it right into your comes, mouth. Comes in like a gogurt. I have one of those in my pocket all the time. <laughs> guacamole. What oh, do you got yeah. there? Guac on the run. Guacamole toast. There's so, no doubt, man. Guacamole is definitely, you know, at any given, I would eat that anywhere, anytime. Eat my really? Guac. So I'm not eat allowed to guac. talk about the house. Yes. Sorry, oh, Doc. That's we a man. Just to, and by the way, we didn't resolve anything, nor did. Rory, I mean, it's a big deal. So whatever else, you know, I guess would. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I knew the no, rules. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead. No, uh, let's just. No, uh, no. We had the inspections. We had the inspections today, so it looks like that's a go. Was that the picture that you sent on Facebook? That was that was that was the new shop. Freaking bad to the bone, by the way. I looked at it and I didn't know if it was, and I was like, yeah, that was a gar- the garage. Yep. Oh, Ooh, I just cr- cursed again. Sorry. That's all right. So there's going to be, I'm going to carve out my little, a little office there, scratched podcast studios. And then that'll be my uh, shop slash gym fitness Freaking facility. Awesome. Let me look at it again. I'll, I'll, I'll double check if, if it's as awesome as I was remembering. You're going to slide pretty- the screen with your bandana on and Eye of the Tiger playing in the background, covered in sweat. Hey, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, You're the dun, best dun, dun, around. Dun, 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 Nothing's dun. ever going to keep you down. You know what I love? Doc does things that 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 I guess people should Spit pick it up. Out. Spit it out. You're disgusting. How could you say <laughs> such things on live air? He 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 actually staged the photo. It's showing the the thing, but he conveniently places the 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 Murdoch logo, the cup, the Chad cup, right there, just to mm-hmm. say, "Hey, this is my place." Oh yeah, I always watermark my pictures with that cup when it's available. Oh, I do it. At, I do it at work too. I always try to put it there. So, dude, the shop looks freaking awesome, dude. Should be. Oh, it was a cool moment though. Like, I went there this morning early. A septic inspection. Um, that actually looked really good. Like as, as good as yeah, the, as good as a septic system could look. It was like exciting. It looked so good. It was like, damn, look at that. And that was the same same guy I've used for uh, the last the last house that I bought and the one that I almost bought. Did you put into your contract that you that you require all turds from the past occupants to be removed? And you needed a a, a clean. It's just... done, that's a done deal, son. Okay, just wanted to know because that's that's, that's not that was not. I didn't word it like that though. There was no turd clause. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations to Doc. It's super exciting. Not only is it super exciting, but the place that that your that's yours is freaking awesome, dude. Yeah, it was it was a it was really cool when like the boy showed up today and got to go through the house for the first time. My son, my youngest son, who's never had his own bedroom, was showing me his bedroom. Was like, you want to see my bedroom? I was like, sure as shit, too. I'm spending every dime I've ever gonna make ever on this shit. Let's see it, man. Let's let's show me some smiles. Let me let me let me see some light light. Let me see some light up on the face here. Do something for me. Make me feel feelings or something. I hope I don't wake up in the middle of the night in cold sweats, re- repeating the the banner that Bales freaking put there because I know it's I like see that. I, I know that it's I, I know that it's 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 freaking um, subliminal. You know, like I'm 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 quite keen to to being aware of subliminal suggestions. That's why I'm always at Taco Bell. In any yeah. event, um, awesome, dude. So now, once I move, Rory, if you'd want to come and look at properties in this area. You can couch surf in Dan's room. We have a we have a pull out couch in the on the downstairs family room now. I appreciate it. I'm most likely yeah. we'll take you up on that. Yeah, no, for sure. Elroy, you ever want to get away from Miami? Um, I will not leave your house. But I'll be a good good Yeah, guy. well we'll go, you know, you'll like my area. There's not a lot of people. Yeah, you will. I mean I could take you out and still not be You mean <laughs> take me out? Take sure, you I'll for, take it. Take you out for dinner before you like his area. You'll take yeah, me out. Like, we'll do both. Like Gambino style. 
yeah, like a good bookie. Because that's the back of the head. That's how it sounds from South Florida. You say, "Well, don't worry. Hey, no, don't worry don't about it. We'll take you out." No, we'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll go. We'll go to the local social social watering hole for short beers. Oh, we we shall meet. You person. come here and you eat my guacamole in front of me, in front of my family. You eat my guac. There will no. be no. There will be zero Taco Bell guacamole on our trip. Whoa! No. I'll send. I, I'll send you home. I'll send you home twenty pounds heavier. What'd you do? I ate a dox three nights in a row. Ugh. So wait a second. There is no guacamole in your area. There is. It's just not pocket guac. No, By the way, I'm not a guacamole guac. enthusiast per se, but. I do I do like a, a guac every now and then. Yeah. Guac my taco. Yeah. The big thing I want to build at this house, because it's actually pretty close to moving ready. Yeah. I want to build myself a big uh F off wood burning pizza oven, like a dome top, Jeez. like you'd see in Tuscany. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna happen. Sundays I'm gonna make pizza and make bread. Awesome, dude. Well, yeah. I mean, you know what? If everything pans out, everybody will have um, all the things that they want, like La La Disneyland. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you know, still places for shit to go wrong, but today was a definite step in the right direction. Also, um, the people the people have moved out of this house, so I may be able to get into it early. At least move my stuff, which would be good if I can have a little bit of time to move my stuff in and out. But cool, all inspection, dude, yeah, inspections went well. House inspection, and you're totally like not stressed. You're totally feeling pretty groovy. I, uh, I'm totally stressed about it, but that's not really going to help. The no, uh, the one thing that being a father, I guess, having a family has taught me is that like you know, you either stress about it or you roll with the punches. Either way, it's the same shit. You're, you're gonna you're gonna eat the whole wet bowl of shit either way. So. So oh, that's what I was gonna say. So you made a comment that oh, earlier about parenting this, this, and that, and you don't have to be a parent. It's not like kids are this alien creature, like a non-parent. Let's say you're trucking through an island and you see a child. Uh, you're a human being. It's a human. You instinctively know. I mean, it's not the same as being there as a parent in suburbia and X, Y, and Z. But human beings, in the end, I mean. Heck, You've seen goats pick ducks as their freaking offspring and take them around. So it's not absurd to think that that we have knowledge, whether you have offspring or not, uh, of these things. Because oh no, all, the only also, the only preface that I'll ever make on that we is were that, also kids. Remember that we yeah, ourselves I, were. All I agree kids. with that. I agree with that, and I don't. I I never say oh because I have kids, I'm smart. That's not the point I'm trying to make, but I will contest that there are biological switches that go off in your head when you have offspring and you look at that kid, like, you know, physical, like mental gateways, chemicals go off in your head. Protection. Well, you think differently. I think Mm -hmm. so much differently since I've had the kids than I, than I did before. I, even when I was married, so that's the only thing that I think is the a, a deciding factor between when I hear something from somebody that doesn't have kids and someone that does. Right. But I get what you're saying. No, and, and I, I get, always yeah. I always like to take the opinion of someone that doesn't have kids because I think that sometimes they're a little bit more logical and they're not thinking as sed- sedimental. Right, but they're not also sentimental. As important- yes, but they're not at the same time they're not as informed as someone that that's dealing with a kid or a particular problem, you know, with the kid and all these things. But, but I do understand that the, you know, survival imperative, this is my offspring. This is part of me, all that. I, it's, I think that you can't experience it unless you experience it. But um, I think it's not an unknown to people, you know, although unless you're a person that's oblivious to everything around you. I don't know, man. One of my uh, friends I grew up from elementary school he's never had a girlfriend or a a boyfriend that i know of but when it comes to lifestyle and free time you know the guy's 37 years old there's there's absolutely no consideration about that at all you know his attitude is just the the right now the impulse and constantly it's like 
yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with you. There's just not enough time. I got to go home. I got to take care of the house. I got to talk to Amanda. I got to, you know, got to live my life there. But because he's by himself, his perspective isn't there like Doc's talking about. He doesn't think that way. It's just the right now. Well, yeah, I, I did explain one thing that this is so you have variations in humanity. If you're an oblivious person or completely self-centered and and not aware of of things, you know, you could grow up a very self-centered human. Be, it, you, it, it's it's always a work in progress. And some people don't want to be a work in progress. They just want, you know, they don't, they don't even consider these things. You also have psychopaths. You have all sorts of different personality traits in human beings. So he doesn't take into account, you know, your issue that, oh, you've got things to do with your lady and et cetera. I mean, hell, I can totally see that. You know, there, there's people on different freaking wavelengths, you know? Yeah, it's a, just a different trip. That's all. And uh, I have some friends that are like that. And it's just like, um, take for example, this is a good example. I play, I've been talked about before, I play disc golf. Hot and what? heavy. Yeah. You're a disc golfer? Yes. You know I would this. never have thought. You know this. You know, I talk about it. No, you wear like I a play. flat outfit and a tie? No. Oh. no. Too so bad. Is there a sporting attire to wear with? Yeah, there is. Uh, you know, just shorts. Now, and is disc golf and frisbee golf the same? Yeah, you just frisbee is like uh, Kleenex versus tissue. Disc golf is just the generic term. Frisbee is a trademark. It's the same thing. <laughs> I get you. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And plus, um, once you play for a while, if you say frisbee golf, everyone will give you shit. So. <laughs> I'm I'm not a purist. I'm just happy people are playing. And I just I'm happy to get my rounds in. So I I, I play every Sunday. I have I, for a long time. I wish we wouldn't have started this awesome episode with with the. the oh, party. here we go again. Well, no, yeah, I just, but, no cause now you're talking something nice, this right, and but, that, but it was stained. Yeah, let, me fi- stained let, me finish, let me finish the point on that. Okay. Uh, me and my cousin, who has a daughter, um, we're kind of wired the same. We have to we play Sunday morning, and we have to be up and out of the house before the kids are up. Because if, if the kids get a hold of you in the morning, hey, Daddy, you can't leave. I need pancakes. I want to go to something, you know. So you got to be up and out. So we're on course like seven o'clock, six o'clock. Sometimes, you know, depending on if we're traveling. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard to get other people, especially like single guys, to agree to like wake up and play with you. And like, why in the world would you do that? Why don't you wait until it's like, oh, I can't? I just physically couldn't squeeze another time to get out and play. Boy, so it's just you know, line up a thing. So. Bales, what's been going on in in your existence? I've been uh, working on a computer migration at the day job. I got to swap out computers, Windows Seven for Windows Ten. It's thrilling. <laughs> and then I come, and then I come home, and every day I work on the bathroom a little bit, and I do that until about eleven o'clock, and then I go to bed and repeat. So. I mean, it's been a while. So, what do you do? Do you, you so you're in the hallway and like you've got the tile and you just push it with your two little fingers slightly closer to the. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been so I finished up all the sheetrock, and then I had to you know do the joint compound. You got to let it dry overnight. Second coat, sand it back. Third coat, because I'm not a pro, so I do more sanding than I do, you know. <laughs> yeah, and. Actually, and I- like you know, like like a when you suck at welding, you do more grinding than you do than you do welding. Yeah. So it took me a while to sand it back, and then I have air bubbles, so I gotta fill those goddamn things. So oh, the little air bubbles, you know, a nice little trick. Toothpaste. <laughs> no, I wasn't gonna say toothpaste, but that's a good trick there. I was just gonna say you have the little air bubble. I swear to you, you could either use a little bit of caulking. And just go dabby, 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 if they're little. Yeah, but are you saying not, daddy? I just do joint compound. <laughs> yeah. Or you could just do that, I guess, but I'm saying. Do you know what, Bales? Continue. I, I, so, you can't oh, I did me. the first coat of primer yesterday, second coat of primer today. I'll paint the ceiling tomorrow. Not what you're thinking, Eloy. What? I'll paint the What's ceiling. 
what's the uh, what's the what's the uh oh oh you just you know what and then you i gotta know. i gotta slam the hardy board down on the floor then i gotta go pick out floor top but here's the rub i know you like that Eloy. the rub the warden turns 40 tomorrow oh 40. so and you know our boy justin his wife turned 40 on monday or tuesday uh-oh so they're doing a they're doing a joint party at Justin's house. A joint party? No, not, not that kind of joint. Okay. A dual birthday party at Justin's place on Saturday. Oh. So we're gonna have like a taco bar. He's got a pool, got a bunch of kegs, got a got an inflatable bouncy house to keep the freaking kids entertained. I'm I'm uh I'm trying to make a cube set. So we have like a a lawn game to play. No, that's so. You're yeah, so, but I, I, I'm behind the gun, dude. I'm behind the gun. This no, is Saturday. You, you know what? Oh no, you, you're so. Um, what's the word? Um, old. <laughs> no, that wasn't the word. One of them. No, you're so suburban. Oh you're yeah, so suburban. You're you're so everything you just told me. I can see that little candles and maybe little tiki torches instead of the candles. Ooh, I love tiki torches. You, you yeah, like to keep the mosquitoes away? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With with the what is it? Is it the strict vanilla something? A citronella. A citronella. A citronella. Did you say strict vanilla? <laughs> <laughs> Only the strictest. <laughs> but well, that's, it's organic. Know, you know, you guys are, are pretty darn awesome. You know, you really are. Think about it. Bales is having this loving thing. There's a sensitive side to Bales. Well, we all knew that. But um, there's a sensitive side to Bales, and you know it's a loving thing. It's truly a loving thing. Doc has a, this loving thing. Um, Rory <laughs> is on fire, creating havoc in Colorado. Yeah, breaking his dad's heart. <laughs> oh know? man, come on! Oh. Don't hang that shit on him. <laughs> oh. Don't you? Don't you hang that evil on it's him? It's our legacy, Rory. You yeah, suck. Right? It's like the king of England. Oh. All right, right, I got an. I got an idea. I had maybe maybe call an audible, Rory. <laughs> call an audible, and you and him start fighting on camera. Uh, that's too hard now. No, no, no. Like you and him behind the scenes, no. But when when the camera is on, tooth and nail at each other's throats. Like, and then you can go and have a shot of whiskey when the day is over, and just do it in increments. But you need to go full American Chopper and just start throwing shit. That'll make the YouTube channel blow up. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. Let's, let's destroy my that. family's relationship, even if it's scripted. <laughs> you know, subs, Dad. Come on, but come on, let's go, Craig. Get it no, on. No, 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 no. But you never leave. You keep going because if you go YouTube with it, and it gets su- success, and then you just every other episode you threaten to to boogie, and it just it'll be so awesome. I will freaking dude. Can I be your online employee and promote that? No, no. Okay. Okay, just, so Elo, you should come visit at the same time Rory does, and then Bales, you can pretend you have something better to do that weekend. So, be like, oh, what is that? The fifth? I got a gig. Oh, I'm kind of a bitch. Can't come. <laughs> I, 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 I use the bathroom first. We have two now. There'll, there'll be two of those at the new house. Pennsylvania? That's not, I mean, that's like 10 hours ish. No. You live outside of Boston? How far out of Boston? 16 miles. Uh, you'd be at my house in like five and a half hours. Oh, I'm down. Yeah. I live I, I live in Pennsylvania, but I live like on the Jersey border, only about halfway so down. So you live on eastern Pennsylvania? Yeah. Oh, for, I'm, coming, for all the I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Yeah. All right. Hey, sc- sc- scratch live. Scratch sleepover. I'm coming over. <laughs> Camp Rory. scratch. You tell me when you're going there, Rory, and we'll go. This one time at Scratch Camp. Yeah, Scratch Camp. We could probably have all of our listeners come out. All and I think my yard can handle twenty people. Could, could we? Could we play Monopoly? No. <laughs> you you can. I'm out. I don't have the attention span for that. Um. Could could we play um um dominoes? No. Um. I'm not gonna ask. I'm just not gonna ask. My my play. my goal. Can, who's in my mouth? Oh, oh no. <laughs> very popular. At, what was the place that you played? Al's Diner? In the back of Sally's Diner? <laughs> Ralph's Diner? Ralph's Diner, yeah. 
<laughs> Ralph Steiner, who's in my mouth? God. Who's in my mouth Thursdays? Who's in we my have, mouth? We have trivia on Wednesday and Thursday night is who's in my mouth? Who's in my mouth and why do my knees have all these little rocks poking into them? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's rough. Be creative, Bales. It is rough. Oh, I like it. Camp scratched. So yeah, See? anyway, uh 40th celebration this weekend. That's what That's I'm doing. Taco, taco bar. And 40, 40, psh, 40's nothing. Are you gonna use the joke where you're telling her you're gonna trade her in for two 20 year olds? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a uh, buddy of mine's dad. I remember him saying like, at his wife's 40th birthday party using that joke five hundred times. I'm gonna oh, use man, it. I'm gonna use it at least once now. Yeah. Uh we're gonna That's tell cool. tell her tomorrow we gotta get up early because I'm gonna try to trade you in for I would never use that joke ever. I get away yeah, with it. I get away with it. Midlife crisis when she turned forty. Really? Yeah she she did not take it well. Hmm. I got a couple years yet. Mrs. Doc's a little younger than I am, so I think she's I your age, Roy. The way I look at it is that we're screwed anyway. So yeah, you are for sure. <sighs> Speaking of Mrs. Doc's birthday, I took her to a concert for it. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. That was super awesome. Tool, you said? No, we saw Incubus. Oh, okay. Another one of those bands I don't know. Did they play any of the hard rock and stuff, or did they play all the... No, they don't play any, like... They played all the moist vagina music? They they don't play any, like, Fungus Mungus or, like, uh, Science. They don't... No Science? No. Make yourself? The way it goes down is once... Kilmore, once they change DJs, like he doesn't spin that kind of music. So it's just I've I've heard him play that with the different DJ, and it sounds funny. Hmm. That you know the original guy spun like hard house and like industrial music over it, and the guy that's the DJ now or whatever you call him in the band, Kilmore with the long dreads, he's like more ambient and like digital. So I think Make Yourself was my favorite album from them. Yeah, they played a lot of that. That's good. That you know, you don't realize how many hits they actually have. And, you know, they, they, yeah, they fill out a set pretty well. Have you guys ever eaten egg salad? Yes. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, so like like- it. it's it's got to be done correctly. I'm not. I'm not a fan of mayo or sandwich Ooh. breads. Ooh, my and favorite. You, and you need those. Yeah. No, I'm a fa- I'm a favorite of both. Really? Yeah. So do you um, have an? You have your own egg salad recipe? I do. You want to share it with the crowd? Um, it's heavy on. Um, <laughs> usually, I use a lot of um, relish. I use relish too. I use hot dog, hot dog relish, which is mustard and relish mixed together. Oh, well, and you, usually is that yellow mustard or like spicy brown? Yellow, and 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 not tons of it. You're Just, so. This guy Bales is so suburban. He's he knows the different variations of mustard. I like a little spice to my mustard. I don't oh, know. There, there, there will be there will be spice in this egg salad, but All it right. will not be from the, the mustard. Okay. So that's you, what I you use. You boil your own eggs? Of course. Do you slice them or dice them? How how do you process the egg? Tell me. I I, I I'm a uh, a smasher of the egg. Oh. I put them in there and Good I usually uh, I have a uh, potato ricer. Ooh. And I'll run them through. I'll run them through the potato ricer on the courses. And Eloy's calling me domestic kid no. over here. He's got Alton Brown kitchen utensils. Oh, oh, you don't, you don't, you don't even know. Wait until you guys come over and we spin some handmade pasta for what? dinner. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, you, can you, you, gnocchi? you want a gnocchi? I can make a gnocchi. I've made them since my grandfather you, passed. Teach me how to make some ravioli. I can do that. Oh crap! Now I'm gonna have to bring the warden because she loves food. Yeah, no, I'll. God I, damn it! All are welcome at my table. Can we stop by KFC <laughs> if you want? You don't want homemade raviolis? <laughs> yeah, hey, pick up pick up a Burger King taco for Eloy. Ah, Put him in the no. corner with chicken nuggets. Don't it's, forget it's, the guacamole. Yeah, pocket guac. <laughs> pocket guac. I think we should do that scratched pocket guac. Ooh. I kind of like it. What bales? Come on. You'd be sucking so, on that all night. No, um, it, but if you if you honestly wanted to learn how to make that, we could we could hook that up. You've heard it, of the pocket. It's way rocket? simpler than you think. The pocket. Why well, you, you have one for yourself, Eli? The, the pocket guacket. The pocket guacket. <laughs> That's good, bud. Hey, I mean, sometimes you 
you strike, you know, and sometimes you hit one. Yeah, the opening act for that had the uh, bass player that was also playing the keyboard, and he had like the laptop on top of the keyboard, and he was he was really doing a lot of stuff during the set. And he did something at one point, and his channel went hot, and it was just like this driving, overdriven bass note. It wasn't even a note; it was almost like a full body hum. Oh, really? So you like, got... I, yeah, I felt it in my chest. Mm-hmm. Like it was. Like, I was like, "What the hell, man? That kind of hurts." Like it kind of hurt after a while. I was like, "Man, I feel like I'm being assaulted by this person." And then, like when the song was over, he put his hands over the strings and whatever feedback loop he was playing with. It was like somebody in the crowd was like, "Turn off whatever you had on." I oh, like, I stood I, next to the freaking bass. I, I stood next to the uh, speakers at the Metallica concert next to um, Jason Newsted's freaking um, bass uh, stack. Out, oh. it was out in the on the the fields, and uh, damn, dude, uh, you can't. It's just horrible. It's it's useless. I was uh, I saw Corn when they broke the decibel record on that tour. I didn't hear right for like a week and a half. Oh yeah, like and again that was one time I was like felt like kind of like short of breath. Like while it was going on every once in a while, but man, it's kind of hard to catch your breath when they're. Just... It'll it'll actually compress your chest cavity. I felt where. Like- where you can't, I mean, well, here's a good thing. Cause we've all had, you know, gone to concerts and stuff. Um, I'll just, maybe we can go and see who, you know, any, any memorable concerts, but I went to Metallica out in Bayfront park and it's out in the field and it was loud bass and whatnot, but the whole thing was loud. Well, we trained into the area cause they have this thing called the Metro rail and you park your car anywhere throughout Miami and you can get up on this, uh, train or whatever uh and it'll take you to downtown miami um we get off train we go down the steps cross the street right there on the bay and metallica all night long but the whole thing is on dirt and people are stomping and moshing and all that stuff and the dirt rose and rose and the freaking sound when the concert was done and the noise stopped me and my three other buddies we walked back to the to the uh, metro rail and as we're walking um you can't hear your buddies can't hear you can't hear you're walking and you get into the train we're traveling back towards the parking and in my nose i felt like gummy and i touched my nose that was black mucus coming out of the nose you're when i got home there was dirt in the ears we were covered in dirt and we couldn't hear it was like back to back the worst scenario. Um, and plus I got in a mosh and I got freaking slam on the, my back yeah, and fell on the ground as well, but terribly. And that got, hurt too. We got poured on last night, but I wasn't going to cancel those plans for, for shit because I think a year ago we had plans to go see Incubus somewhere else with a couple other people and everyone else bailed on her. And it was kind of going to rain and kind of not going to rain. And I was in a bad mood about something. And I was like, I don't go. So you actually, so we didn't tickets in hand. You said no. Yeah, it was a pretty, it was a pretty far drive. And it was like a Friday night. Like, and you know, dude, but after purchase of tickets, listen, man, listen, man, doc, I agreed, but. I have you, my moments where I'm not in, you know, in the so right. you I have, have, I have a little bad side. You, you don't, you're not Mr. Happy Go Lucky. You have a little bit of a temper. Um, I've had bouts of anxiety, depression my whole life. I don't call no, it a temper. temper. I, I call it, it's not anger. Evil. Funk. Like this thing. Funk. Oh, Dar- so you were darkness. Depressed. So you were depressed. So you pulled back out of it. Like you were like, you couldn't, like, I don't want to go. Or like, usually it's gotcha. uh, usually super anxious. Like I don't want to drive all the way there. I understand that. Okay, okay well, that, so over the last sense. six months, I've started a heavy, heavy, heavy dose of CBD. What's that? You know, throughout the day, um, hemp oil. The non, okay. it's not, it's it's uh, it's marijuana, but it's uh, the non psychoactive part of it. 
Okay. Okay. In pill form, I've been taking that. And since I've started doing that, that's all gone. Does not high. Come? Not high at all in any no, way. I like I said, there's no THC in it. You don't have to convince me. I'm just I'm laying it out for you, anybody you that doesn't know. To, you don't have to convince me. And, and, and if anyone's anyway. wondering about mine, it has plenty of THC in it. Don't worry. It's okay. I can't I, get I can't get those in Pennsylvania. So when you come couch surfing, you bring a rattler for old cousin Jared. Just ping. stick them all in your butt. And you and you also from a recreational state bales uh when you come down bear gifts. I I wouldn't even know where to start. I was I would I wouldn't even if you brought me something I wouldn't even have been used. I'd be like, that's from Bales. Look at that. He went in the store. So did it tone you down? Do you feel Oh I okay, so just to play it out, um, since I've started that way calmer. I still have my moments, but not anywhere even close. I stood in the rain watching the opening actor through the thing and I was just perfectly content. Really didn't bother me. Before, man, I wouldn't even gone outside. I was like, there's no way I'm getting wet. I'm not going to stand there. But th- does it motivate you or does it just what does it do to you? Uh, Takes out all the anxiety. Calms them down. For the most part, yeah. Uh, the things that I usually high stress for me, I can get beyond and think about things that are actually important. Okay. So is that stuff available online? Um... I buy mine at a health food store. <laughs> oh. Well, Next you know, there's so many there's so many places that sell it now, kiosks in the mall and all that bullshit that like I wanted somewhere where at least I trusted people to, you know, and the health food store that I go to is on the up and up. Okay. Do they so, sell do they sell anything to perk you up? Okay. No. That's also where I buy a couple grocery items and they always have the dope produce there too. The dope produce? They always have like the nicest looking leafy green stuff in the back or their Swiss char. And you go to like a regular grocery store and it's just like some bad lettuce grown in a warehouse somewhere. But I don't know what they have at that store is nice looking stuff. So it's like a TV drama show quality. Do you guys have any other memorable um, concerts that you that you've done or that you've gone to, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mentioned mine uh, a few months ago, but um, Amanda wanted to go see Hailstorm. Is that the band? Yep. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure. Whatever. Let's go. You know, I had no idea what we were getting into. It could have been a girl band for all I knew. And um, one of the opening was in this moment, which I had never heard of either. And being, Front and center, I mean, we were 100 feet from the stage. My my guts were vibrating throughout that whole show. Yeah, Man, I, I love Hailstorm. Um, they have this song called "I Miss the Misery," um, plus the top track, Hailstorm itself. Um, the, the title tra- This is a title track off their Hailstorm album. This is Hailstorm featuring Hailstorm. Here's the- to us is an awesome one, and I get off is a freaking hey, hey, hailing hailing the storms. Uh, yeah, hailstorm. How far are you from Red Rocks, Rory? Oh, I can see it from my house. Oh, well, that's what we're gonna do when I come visit you before you leave. Red I'm Rock gonna start. I'm gonna, all right. I, I'm all right. I'm gonna start looking for concerts at Red Rocks. It Rock. could be anything. It could be Kenny Rogers. It would be awesome. <sighs> I would love to go see Kenny Rogers. I wonder if he would do um, Islands in the Stream. No, I want to see what condition my condition is in. Oh. Islands cross the stream. Yeah, Kenny Rogers. All right, that's on. That's going to be. All right. I'm serious. Red Rocks is great. Anything you watch in there, it's going to be awesome. Easter okay. service is great at Red Rocks. All right. Let's. I want to see something strange. I'm going to go on the website tomorrow. That's Dude, gonna... Tenacious D was just there. Sweet. D from the Rocks. Yeah. I like Kyle Grass a lot. And I know the secret way to the amphitheater when uh, the interstate gets all buggered up, too. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Just walk. You said you're close. I plan on being, I plan on being a certain, I plan on being a certain amount of worthless for pretty much the entire time I'm in Colorado. So that's good that you know the shortcuts. We'll get a bike and we'll put you in the wheelbarrow and we'll make it work. Oh, no, it's not going to be like that. 
Oh no no no! I I will be fine. It's just I can't. I won't. Not heavy thinking or decision making. Quick. That's not going to be my uh, forte. <laughs> just getting a little distance, man. That's well, awesome. Maybe, maybe Rory should move somewhere. You should move somewhere totally exotic and different. How about Little Havana in Miami? Ooh. I was thinking like no Spain. Ooh, why not? They do metal work over there. Malta. They do beautiful metal work over there. Yeah, that's that's a metal working. You could you could have a Spanish Spanish like El El, El Rory. Yeah, El Forjo. Da-da-da. Some like mariachi riff that plays you in. Kring. Castanets. El Smith de Dirty. I've been thinking about it. What moving mm-hmm. um, south? No moving back to Europe from where? Oh, going back to España. Yeah, moving back. There was a while before I had kids. Not so really. I'm, I'm kidding. Oh, my wife has a family in Italy at like her father's, I don't know, fifth cousin, but they know him. And they are apricot farmers. And I was like, Lauren, let's just bounce. I was like, let's go to Italy. I was like, I don't know, farm apricots and think about how great it'll be when Christmas time rolls around and we can send people pictures of me and you and the donkey that we just bought to start our life over (laughs) in Italy as apricot farmers. Would you be allowed to go back to Italy? I think so. I think if you go there and you get a job, you're good. I don't know. I've never looked into Italian immigration laws. I'm not. I'm not really. Well, I have kids. No, I'm not going anywhere. I think that that there's restrictions. Could be at this point. You know, this is back before I even cared about such things. You know, what we talked about, what was actually going to happen, was always two different things. But wouldn't it be cool if we X Y Z? I've never thought of leaving America to be honest with you. But if if one had to, I think we've talked about this before. You know. I don't want to. I don't want to brag, Eloy, but I'm moving within a mile of my parents' house. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, uh, and kind of by accident, but at the same time, like, what a great spot! So, oh, it's a great spot. Plus, it's it's tucked away compared to where you're at now. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, not that I know specifically, but it's you've you seen know. you've seen aerials. I like I said, dude. Yeah. I got to watch the kids run around in that backyard for the first time today. It was hilarious, too, because they were with my mom's because she had them. And then she brought them in after we had the inspections. And, I mean, we are off the beaten. We are off the beaten path, off a road, off a road. Like, to, to come into my – there's 10 houses on my street. So there's no through traffic. And she's literally still mother henning them. She is just 10 feet from them. Stop running. Don't go. Don't go too close to the road. I was like, Mom, they are 150 feet from that road, and there's no car. We're good. Well, I just don't want them to think that they can go over there. I was like, I'm buying this house so they can go over there. That's exactly what I want them to do. Let them run. Well, grandmas will do what grandmas do. Oh, this is hilarious. Well, I mean, it looks like everything is in order. Doc has a new place. And it's an awesome place. I really freaking love it. He just showed the other day the uh, the pictures of the house, and then today just the um, what you call the uh, the garage slash new workshop, and it's freaking awesome. Bales is pushing tiles from the hallway into the uh, bathroom, um, and swapping out little bubbles. Windows Vista for uh, Windows Ten, and he's gonna have a nice exotic um, tiki sort of thing bash in the backyard of his friend's house taco tiki taco bash and rory he's raising hell like nobody's business (laughs) and i'm destroying my family just rode a dump truck a stolen dump truck through your father's heart yeah (laughs) no i'm sorry that was terrible yours is the 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 tough one because you made a a heavy duty. i mean not to say that that doc's decision is not heavy duty but um yours is heavy duty in a different way that's 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 really heavy duty but the good news is that there is an adventure ahead and we're all going to look forward to seeing what that adventure because i mean I mean, where, where are you going to go? I mean, you haven't really pinpointed it or expressed it to us, but well, and I was I was considering maybe vlogging the whole thing. Oh well, I like that. 
because this will be the first time I will be experiencing it. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a ballsy move. It's and it sucks. It really does. Well, I mean, you can't look at it that way either, though. I wish or... it could work out, but uh, you know, you got to cut me a little bit of slack, though, is that we just had the conversation this last weekend. Oh no, no, yeah, it's still course. fresh. It's still tingly. And, but but he did he try to? Um, yeah, but if we can see a nerve, we're gonna poke it with the stick. Like, was that hurt? Like, right there? He, How about here? He, if I hit it here, does it hurt? Or, uh, exposing yourself, Rory. Now we're just gonna. Did he try to get you to change your mind, or? Um, no, because I I had brought this up actually about three years ago, and then everything around me really went to shit, and. Kind of got tossed to the side. We had a huge amount of work and had to get done. And then this is, this is one of those things of you feel so obligated to get it done, get it out, but the work just never stopped. So you kind of just went back to how it was. And this last install that we did out of state, it was 60 hours climbing in and out of that damn hood. Yeah. It just, it, it was, it, it, it sucked. It just, it just, so thought. that made you think again that climbing that reminded me is like this is bullcrap for what we're charged for this and we're, we're doing 60 hours up inside this thing 6 a.m getting kicked out at 3 30 4 p.m it was just it was just complete bullcrap hmm. and uh hey i'll start start finding yourself having opinions how things are being done and what you would do or mistakes that have happened and what could have been prevented you know maybe maybe it is time you know, it's um, it's never the right time. If you wait for the right time, it's never going to be the right time. So as long as it's a good time, yeah. It was very zen. Well, and, uh, you know, and credit yeah. to my 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 father and my mother, they were very fair about it. They just well, that's cool. At other they didn't get the whole. You know, you just got to do a lot of a lot of freaking strategizing in your scenario. Like a lot of it. I think you and Eloy should move into the cul de sac with me. Done deal. <laughs> um, are there any other houses for sale on that block? Not right now, but I could go start, you know, being loud and trying to get people to move out of the neighborhood. I could buy the I could buy the, the junkyard. <laughs> you could buy the I house could, with the island. No, I I could buy the junkyard thing and, and live like uh Sanford and Son over there. I would be great. Man I don't I can't wait to go introduce myself to the people that own the junkyard as their neighbor. Hi, neighbor. Oh, that's going to be awesome, dude. Yeah. By the way, I happen to be an electrician. Oh, you need some work done? Oh, wonderful. Well, I mean, I think that um, the new software works. We've done good. There's lots of unsettled business uh, uh, from this episode. Uh, hopefully, next time, Frickin' Bales doesn't add such horrible, you know, words to his little banner thing but and i in turn in kind would not you know reciprocate with uh my evil can we call it a truth bail he's gonna say no watch oh he said yes sorry i I will agree not to q in the ass next week oh you know what and and i can't agree that bales eats hard for fun probably gonna edit that out or maybe I'll just leave it in. It's at the end of the episode at that point. Only the hardcore are listening. <laughs> Anybody that makes it that far into the episode doesn't care. And they deserve that knowledge. It's a little it's a little Easter egg. If the milk jugs was a band, these would be the song titles. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Dingle in the berries. Uh, I'm going to pull the pen. We good with that? Yep. Yeah. We milked it for as much as we could. <laughs>